new but same energy for Gibraltar calling after being held in Victoria Stadium for eight years and moved up here to the Europa Point Leisure Complex and it's been a great energy all weekend even though there have been some teething problems and contending with the weather as well for early September. It was blustery on Saturday and then torrential rain on Sunday. However, as if by magic, the clouds cleared as day two of the festival got underway. As with most years, the local bands kick things off on the main stage, though it was classic rock bands Nazareth and Uriah Heep that started things off in the now indoor classic stage. Local bands such as The Views, Escape and the Layla Rose Band, the only female vocalist of the weekend, represented local talent amongst the bigger names. Jetstream having the distinction of being the first local band to close out the classic stage on day one. There were big crowds for them and also for Steve Harley and the Cockney Rebel. That was wonderful. Yeah, it's so gratifying. We're, you know, we travel a lot, I play a lot of shows and I totally love the job. Big crowds too for the Lighthouse family, the latter putting on a crowd-pleasing performance of classics and songs from their new album, this being only their second high-profile gig since reuniting earlier this year. UK DJ Sagala got the crowd pumped with his set of hits and remixes. Uh, yeah, it was incredible, man. It's, uh, it's my first time here and... Yeah, it's, it's like the crowd were very welcoming and very energetic, and yeah, it was cool. When it came to the big acts on the main stage on Saturday, Liam Gallagher played his new solo material and Oasis favourites, prompting sing-alongs. The showstopper of the night, though, was Enrique Iglesias, playing hit after hit. Sunday saw US breakout band King Calloway on the main stage, with local musician Simon Dumas and his bandmates in superb form. It's like amazing. It's an incredible <laughs> so place. Yeah. yeah, the people are amazing. The food's great. It's just a great atmosphere. I don't think there's ever been a stage where I'm looking out and there's another continent on the other side. So it's pretty incredible. Yeah. yeah. And Simon, how does it feel to bring your your friends here? It's like the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> it's like when you're in university and you tell your friends like, oh, like you should come over for a week or something. It's like that times six. Um, but it's so cool feeling like they can now visualize what Gibraltar is. Because up to now, it's just been like this paradise miles away. And it is, but now they get to see it for themselves. So just super special and to be back at the festival is just incredible. Brit Award winner Tom Walker and 80s icon Rick Astley took to the stage later on Sunday who proved very popular with the crowd. So we saw your tweet, there was a round of applause when you landed, when you landed here in Gibraltar, so um, you've been introduced to the round of applause when we've landed. Then. I guess so, I didn't, you know what, I didn't realise until I got out of the plane and saw how short the runway was, that perhaps that was what the uh, round of applause was for, that the brakes were working on the plane, so uh, yeah. <laughs> it was a pretty good night, wasn't it? I mean, you've got a really good line-up here, I think, and um, I think the audience are in the mood, shall we say. Um, I think there are times when you can do a festival and depending on who you're on after or who you're on before, <clears throat> you can you can come against an audience that you really have to work for. But to be honest, they were singing with us from the word go, so I think they're here just to have a good time, so it was pretty amazing, yeah. You played some new stuff, you played some classics. Mm. What is it about that song at the end? That's how you close the show. It's it's had a life of its own, people yeah, yeah. getting Rick rolled, you Rick rolled Gibraltar in a sense today. Yeah. So how what is it about that song you think that just works with people? Uh, if I knew, I would sell the secret, to be honest. I have no idea. I've just been very lucky, I think. Um, I think it's sort of become one of those tunes that doesn't really belong to me anymore. I think certain songs for certain artists, yes, it's their biggest song. It's the song that people, if they know them, they know them for that tune. But it, they almost take on a different life of their own sometimes, I think, songs. And um, so I kind of just, yeah, I, d I don't... I don't really grasp hold of that whole thing on the internet with that song, simply because it doesn't really have anything to do with me. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I sang it all those years ago, but it, like I say, it's just become something else. So, but it's just really good memories when you, you know, you're on a stage and you look out and you can see kids know it and you can see their grandma knows it. And that's, that's pretty amazing, to be honest. They might not all love it, but they know it. <laughs> 70s stars David Essex and 10CC also delighted crowds in the classic stage. When I was invited to do uh, Gibraltar calling, I, I, I thought, yeah, this is interesting. Uh, so I assembled the band and uh, we had a quick rehearsal and here we are. So I'm looking forward to it very much. But it was Take That headlining the main stage that proved to be the night's biggest success. The audience sang along to their greatest hits as the band, celebrating their 30th year, vowed to come back. 
And to cap off day two and the festival itself, Spice Girl Melanie C put on an energetic DJ set, followed by Queen tribute act Killer Queen, who moved from the classic stage to the main stage.